Greetings, citizens of Nerdtropolis. Sean Todd here, the mayor of Nerdtropolis, and on this episode of Real Insights, my guests are the directors of Ultraman Rising. Hello, Shannon and John. Hey, Hello. good to meet you. Good to see the both of you. Uh, I'm excited to nerd out about Ultraman. I think it's safe to say we all grew up Ultraman fans. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I'm nerding out about your t-shirt right now with that Nintendo <laughs> font. That's awesome. <laughs> I had to pull that one. I have a few different yeah. uh, variations, so I had to pull that one for this one. Amazing. I just spoke to the voice cast. I mean, amazing. So I, I kind of want to start off there about crafting this, you know, trio consisting of Christopher, Tamlin, and Getty. I mean, just perfection right there. How did that mm. come about? Yeah. Well, it really came about from uh, working with our uh, incredible casting director, Tanya Jong, and our casting department at Netflix, and just really getting into the script and uh, script and sharing with them, you, you know, what what my goals were and what my point of view was when I wrote the characters, and finding people who could help develop those characters further and deepen and enrich them. And one of the great surprises that we found once we had chosen the cast was that Getty and Tamlin have known each other for a long yeah. time. So there's a natural warmth between them. And then Christopher had grown up watching them and seeing them and had been uh, an admirer of them. And so it kind of, it kind of mirrored a parent-son relationship uh, in that way and that, you know, you have a certain amount of respect uh, for those for those folks, but oh my gosh, like what they brought to their roles uh, with uh, with Emiko and Professor Sato and Ken, uh, I one of the one of the things that you want as a director and as a writer is surprises and those pleasant surprises when you thought a character was going to be this way or you thought it was going to go this way and they bring something new to it and they brought something new every time they came into the booth. Yeah, yeah while I was um, talking to them, you know, I was just like. That's like the real life family right there, the Soto family right in front of me. It was <laughs> <Yeah>. amazing. <It's> <laughs> uh, John, I have to ask, uh, how did you balance honoring the classic Ultraman legacy while bringing something fresh uh, with this new movie, which is fantastic? Well, um, at the very beginning, we knew we wanted to uh, tell this uh, great family story and the, the, the dynamic and the challenges of what, it, what it's like to, you know, um, uh, what parentinghood challenges are uh, raising a child and and also a character who had you know some uh, challenges with his father and and so um, supporting that in a way where you can infuse the details and the fandom perspective of like Ultraman and and finding finding um, the meaning of that Ultraman heroism and and understanding what what it means to be a parent and I'm not a parent or a father myself but I help raise my two young sisters changing diapers helping out a single parent uh, my mom and so I have that different perspective and and um, and looking at that that time from an adult um, side it, it made me realize how much my mom had to deal with right and so I find that parenthood and the message that Shannon wanted in the film is that the heroism of a parent a mom a father anyone that has to take up um, take on that challenge um, the responsibility and and finding that 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 right um, balance to just get that heroism element in there and yet having that fantastic backdrop of course of of the the world in japan and and um and bringing all of our you know ultraman mythology into it no i absolutely loved it i just have one request from the both of you is let's get more ultraman there's not enough of it uh so anything y'all can do over we, there just give we us anything. obviously agree uh you know this is a story i think you can enjoy without any connection it kind of it kind of stands alone but i you know i would love i've got more ideas and i'd, I'd love to see more so perfect we're always here to support it here at nortropolis but thank you all so much and until next time thanks appreciate thank it you. man thanks for talking to us today once again this is sean Taj, the mayor of nortropolis and stay tuned for more movie news reviews interviews and trailers